Hi boys and girls, today we're going to go over Unit 7, Module 1, Session 6, More Division with Fractions. Number 1 says Jamal can paint one-fifth of his closet in 12 minutes. How long will it take him to paint the entire closet? Complete the ratio table to show the answer. So when I see here the entire closet, that means one whole. So right here in the table, the ratio table, when it says amount of closet painted, I don't want one-fifth of the closet. I want one whole, whole closet. So I'm going to put a one hole right there. To move from one-fifth to one hole, how do I make that move? What order of operation do I need? Multiplication is correct. What do I need to multiply one-fifth by? I'm going to multiply 1 fifth by 5. That comes gets to 1 whole. I'm going to do the same up here at the top, 12 times 5. I know that 12 times 5 is 60. So I will write in 60. Therefore, the answer to the question of how long will it take him to paint the entire closet, it's going to be 60 minutes. So I can go ahead and write that answer out here to the side. The answer is 60 minutes. Number two says, Frank can clean one-fourth of his room in 15 minutes. How long will it take Frank to clean the entire room? Show your thinking on a ratio table. So the question is asking me to make a ratio table. So I have 15 minutes for one-fourth of the room. And so this up here represents minutes. And this is amount of room cleaned on below my ratio table amount of room cleaned and again I'm trying to solve how long will it take Frank to clean the entire room and when I see here the entire room that is one whole so to move from one-fourth to one whole I'm multiplying by four one-fourth times four is one whole there's four fourths in a whole 15 times four would be 60. So again, it's 60 minutes to clean the entire room. Number three asks me to write a story problem for the expression 15 divided by three. Then solve the problem. Note, remember that 15 divided by one third means how many thirds are there in 15? So write a story problem. How many thirds are there in 15? I'm going to say Mrs. Dunlap has 15 chocolate bars. She wants to split each chocolate bar into thirds. How many thirds does can Mrs. Dunlap how many thirds will Mrs. Dunlap have when she splits her 15 chocolate bar into thirds? So I can think about here's a chocolate bar split into thirds. Another chocolate bar split into thirds. If I did that 15 times, how many thirds would I have? I can also think of it this way. I'm going to put dot, 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 because you know I haven't drawn out all 15. But I can think of 15 chocolate bars. Each have 3 thirds, so 15 times 3 equals 45. Therefore, 15 divided by 1 third equals 45. 15 divided by 1 third equals 45, which is the same as 15 times 3. Let's look at the next one. Number 4, I'm finding the sum and difference. I'm reviewing, adding, and subtracting with fractions. When I add and subtract with fractions, I'm going to want common denominators. I'm going to need the denominators to be the same. When I look here at thirds and ninths, I can change these, these thirds into ninths. So I'm thinking two thirds is how many ninths? I know that there are three times three is nine. So therefore there are three ninths into one third. So two thirds would be, that's right, six ninths. So I can show my thinking by saying 6 ninths plus 4 ninths equals 10 ninths. But this is a type of fraction that we call improper because the numerator is greater than, 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 than the denominator. So I'm going to change it to a mixed number, which would be 1 and 1 ninth. Looking at number at 4b, 3 fifths and 5 twelfths. 
So I'm thinking, hmm, I can't change fifths into twelfths, nor twelfths into fifths. So I have to think of what is the least common multiple between 5 and 12. I can solve that by listing out the multiples of 5 and 12. So the multiples of 5 would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You get it. I keep going. The multiples of 12 would be 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. And I look here. Is 12 a multiple of 5? No. 24? No. 36? No. 48? No. 60? Yes. Therefore, the least common multiple would be 60. So I'm thinking 3 fifths is how many 60ths? I need to multiply by 12. 5 times 12. So 3 times 12 is 36. So it'll be 36 60ths. And 5 over 12 is how many 60ths? I'm going to multiply by 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. Add 25 plus 36. And that is 61 60ths. Again, it's improper fraction, so I need to change it to a mixed number. I have 1 and 1 60th. Let's go to C. I have thirds and ninths. Can I change thirds into ninths? Yes, so let's do that. 1 and 1 third is how many ninths? That's going to be 3 ninths. And then I'm adding 7 ninths. So I see that is 1 and 10 ninths. Again, that's an improper fraction, so I need to make it into a mixed number. 2 and 1 ninth will be our answer there. Looking at the next one, I see again fifths and twelfths. I already know my least common multiple is 60, so I change those into 60ths. 4 fifths is how many 60ths? I'm going to multiply by 12, so 4 times 12 is 48. And I'm going to subtract how many 60ths? Multiply by 5. So 11 times 5 is 55. Oh, can I subtract 55 from 48? No. So I'm going to borrow a whole number here out of this 2 and add it to these 60ths here. So that would be 168 60ths. Or actually, I guess I borrowed two holes. I could have also just borrowed one hole. 168 60ths minus 55 60ths, and that's going to equal 113 60ths. Again, that's an improper fraction. I make it proper by 1 and 53 60ths. E, so I have C7, sevenths and halves. Thinking of the multiples of 7 and 2, let's think of multiples of 7. 7, 14, 21, oh, 14. I can make halves into fourteenths, so let's do that. Six sevenths is how many fourteenths? I'm going to double it, so it'd be twelve fourteenths. Next, I'm going to multiply by seven. Twelve fourteenths minus seven fourteenths, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's going to equal five fourteenths. Again, one half. I'm moving into fourteenths. Two times seven is fourteen. One times seven is seven. 7 times 2 is 14. 6 times 2 is 12. Last one, I see ninths and 6. I'm thinking of the least common multiple. That's going to be 36. So 2 and 1 ninths is how many 36? I know that 2 times 4 is 36. So 1 times 4 is 4. That's 2 and 4 is 36. Minus 30, 36. Again, I can't take away 30 sixtieths, or 30 36 from 4 36, so I need to change 2 and 4 6 into an improper fraction, and that's going to be 76 36 minus 30 36 equals 46 36 into an improper, or excuse me, to a mixed number would be 1 and 10 36 which can be simplified even further in the same as 1 and 5 eighteenths. Since 10 divided by 2 is 5, then 36 divided by 2 is 18. Number 5. 
Ling is solving the problem 125 times 16. Use a standard algorithm to find the product of 125 times 16. So again, we're reviewing here. 125 times 16. So 5 times 6 is 30. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 3 is 15. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Hold the place value. 5 times 1 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Add 0, 10, 7, 8, 9, 10. I see the answer here is 2,000. And then B says use another strategy, strategy to solve. Think of the most efficient strategy. So maybe I can do partial products by saying 100 times 16 plus 25 times 16. I'm sorry, that's 25 times 16. So 100 times 16 is 1,600. And then 25 times 16 is 400. So 16 plus 400 equals, there we go, 2,000. There can be other strategies you use there too. This doesn't have to be the same. That doesn't have to be the strategy you use for 5B. And looking at number six, we're converting the following measurements. So we see here 1.2 liters is how many milliliters? So I know there's 1,000 milliliters per liter. So 1,000 and 1, how many in 2 tenths? It's going to be 200. Therefore, the answer here is 1,200 milliliters to liters. Again, there's 1,000 milliliters into liters. So we're going to divide this by 1,000. So the answer over here is going to be 13. Next, we see 26 and 74 hundredths liters equals how many milliliters? Again, there's 1,000 milliliters in a liter. So that's 26,740 because I'm multiplying by 1,000. So again, 26,740. And last one here, 2,675 milliliters equals how many liters? I'm going to divide by 1,000. I can also move this decimal point that's here that's invisible over three places. One, two, three. And that's going to be 2 and 675 thousands liters challenge three days equals how many seconds i know there's 24 hours in a day so 24 times three six that's 72 hours i know there are 60 minutes in an hour so i'll multiply that by 60 six times seven is 42 plus one is 43 that's how many minutes there are in a day multiply that by 60 seconds in each hour i have here zero zero 12, 18, 19, 24, 25. So my answer there would be 2,509, excuse me, 259,200 seconds would be the answer to the challenge. And that's all for today.